Hi everyone. Today on the Miser's Guide to Ebony, I'm going to be focusing on tools to benefit you, the players. As we all know, all information in Ebony, even the most fundamental to understanding gameplay, is a developer secret kept from the players. Unfortunately, that means we are on our own to figure out how the game works. There are tools and resources out there for aspects of the game that have been around for some time, but with the rapid fire of new features Ebony has been overwhelming us with, there's a shortage of knowledge around the newer aspects of the game. For any individual, it's an unreasonable task to pull together all the information we need, so this video is an appeal to you, the players. I've created a spreadsheet listing almost every important general in the game in the hopes that we can come together as a community to test and complete a chart that identifies the functionality of assistant general combinations. That's not all. My goal in this project is not just to create a knowledge base of assistant pairs. What I'm going to do when the chart is complete is take this information and use it to create a tool that allows players to test general pairs through drop-down lists. The tool will then detail the cumulative buffs provided by the combination and also notify you if the pairing does not work. This will be a huge step forward for the player base. Really, this information should be provided by the game developers and not by the players, but then certain people would actually have to do some work. There are one or two spreadsheets out there that have some of this information already, but on a smaller scale. I'll take you through the instructions because it's very important that only 100% verified information is entered into the chart. The first step is to combine the main and assistant general somewhere that allows you to do so. The easiest place for me has been the rally spot, but some generals that are main city defense only might need to be placed on the wall. After you have created the pair, click the magnifying glass to check the assistant general's information. If the primary skill book still has color, go back to the Google Sheet and scroll down in the general list to change the cell where the two generals overlap to yes, and it should turn green. If the skill book is gray, click on the skill book to find out why. If the conflict is with the main general skill and not a skill book, change the cell where the two generals overlap to no. The cell will become gray to show that the generals are not suitable for a combination. If the conflict is with a skill book, the general skill should work and you can change the cell where the two generals overlap to yes. Help is appreciated no matter how little. The more people that enter information, the faster this is completed and that I can make an awesome tool for everyone. The best way to test is to pick a primary general to work with and then keep changing out the assistant general. For example, I could test George Dewey on my wall and then go through general combinations that I can make with my available generals updating the sheet along the way. I missed a few generals in making the list and I can't put them back into the alphabetical order without messing up the chart. You'll find a few generals like Tamiris, Serena, and Cyrus the Great at the very end. Again, thank you for watching this video and a double thank you if you choose to be part of the community effort to produce this information. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. If you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the like button and checking out other videos on the Miser's Guide to Ebony. I'll see you in the next video.